Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this probability distribution in StackCrunch. This is not a probability distribution that I really expect you to be able to calculate by hand. I do expect you to understand the binomial and the sum, but this one you can use StackCrunch and not have to worry about calculating it by hand. Okay, a little bit of confusion on what numbers to put where, but first go to stat, calculators, and go down to hypergeometric. Okay, now when you put these numbers in, n, m, and k, okay, you're going to do n is 16, m is 9, and k is 7. So you're kind of going just in backwards order here. 16, 9, and 7. M and K should add up to N. Okay, so when we do that, we want the probability that X is 5. So the probability that X is 5, hit compute, and the probability is 0.2313. So we will enter 0.2313. Okay, and you continue to do that. The next one is the probability that X equals 4. So all you would change would be the 5 to a 4. 0.3855. Okay, and then for the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, you would get 0 0.0056. Okay, and then it says calculate the mean. Okay, so in order to calculate the mean, you could probably just use your formula. Um, let's go to view an example. And good thing you don't have to do all of this by hand because it would be way too time consuming um, to calculate these by hand. So what we're going to do is we are going to calculate the mean by hand. So if you go down to part D, I'm almost there. Notice how many steps there are when you have to calculate this one by hand. So if we look at the formula for mean, all we want to do is N R divided by N. So here little n is 7. 7 times R would be 63 divided by 16. So we would do 63 divided by 16. And you can just do that on your calculator. And when I put that in, I get 3.9375. So let's put that in. Um, 3.9375. Um, notice I missed this earlier because I didn't round to the correct decimal place. Um, the 7 rounds up to an 8. Okay, and then the longest part about this homework is the standard deviation. You have a formula for this. And I'm going to go back down. If you'll just press, press, continue to press enter until you get down to like two parts remaining. Um, and that will get you to your formula. Of course, you could pull your textbook up to view this formula. I always just view an example. Just, just um, go through the steps. Okay, so you're going to do n times r, the square root of n times r. So little n is 7 and r is 963 times big N minus r, which is 16 minus 7. 16 minus 9, which is 7. So we have 63 times 7. I'm going to write that down for us. 63 times 7. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and calculated it using the formula that we had pulled up. And all you do is plug that straight into the formula. You would do um, 63 times 7, we had already talked about that, divided by 256, which is um, your 
16 squared and when you take the square root of that you would get 1.3125 then your second um, square root was 16 minus 7 which is 9 and then on the bottom you would get 15 um, which is 16 I believe let's look one more time so we can make sure that we understand where all these numbers are coming from and how I got to my answer um, you know this last formula is really straightforward if you will just plug in you only have three values to plug in for um, so here is our formula right here nr okay so if you will just write down what n is my n, my little n or my sample n is let me make this a little bit bigger here so we can see uh, my sample n is 7 r is 9 and then the big n is 16 so all I did was I plugged those numbers in um, to get my answer now my little n is 7 okay or is 9 but it's the only thing that's different in this calculation is where you see 19 my number was 16 um, and just make sure you round and that's pretty much it for section 5.4